Hello, my name is Siti Sowa, and uh, I'm just about to do my intro video for my YouTube uh, channel. So in this uh, intro, I'm just going to tell you briefly who I am and uh, hopefully what uh, I seek to do with my channel. So again, my name is Siti Sowa. And uh, you may know by now that I hail from Africa. I hail from Africa and uh, I became a Christian when I was 17 years old. All right, so I was converted uh, from a Muslim background. But I'm not going into my convention story today. We would leave that for another day. And so by the age of 18, you know, I started having uh, the privilege of preaching, the privilege of communicating the word of God. So about that time, you know, I understood that I was called to be a communicator of the word. And uh, also about this same time, uh, I was involved in a church that was very prayerful, a church that... Uh, was very much involved in evangelistic church planting so around this age of 18 when i had just finished high school or uh, one of the local churches or uh, one of the one of the the local there was a local church plant so there was there was one of the local church plants and at this time i was privileged to be heading all right to be leading that local church plant so basically at this time you know as you would do in the local traditional church, you are involved in communicating the word of God for life change. And uh, you are also basically providing spiritual oversight. Uh, you are there motivating the people, encouraging the people, leading them in prayer, you know, leading them in evangelistic efforts and uh, providing spiritual oversight and doing the problem solving. So I was involved in all of that. And uh, not too long after that, I moved to the capital city to pursue my undergrad. So now in the capital city, uh, my passion for ministry was still there. But now I wasn't too much involved in traditional like local church ministry, but I was involved in student ministry. So on the college campus, I was basically involved in the leadership. All right. In the student ministry for, you know, in my sophomore year, that's my second year in the uh, 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 senior year, final year. I was involved, you know, in providing leadership. And for me, that was a... Uh, a transformational experience because at this time I am working with people that are I may not agree with or generally theologically or biblically because these are students that come from all over the country from different church backgrounds different doctrinal background different biblical worldviews and different theological worldviews but at least you know it was a transforming experience to be able to walk alongside people that are different from you, even biblically and theologically, but still able to walk with them in a, uh, in a unanimous way and provide leadership for them. So that for me was a huge privilege. And uh, so I finished school in Africa and uh, around 2006, I was privileged to come to the United States. And as soon as I came to the United States, I was plugged into a local church and in this local church also i was privileged to be involved with the leadership i was actually one of the assistant pastors i was part of the preaching team and i had the privilege of preaching about once every month and uh while I was, you know, assistant or uh, helping as an assistant pastor, I was also helping with the youth ministry from time to time. I was also helping with the men's ministry from time to time. And uh, also at this time, I was, you know, 
you know, uh, enrolled in school. But through my school, I had the privilege of being involved in prison ministry. All right. So did some prison ministry at this time. All right. So that was also a very unique privilege that I had. But actually, I had that privilege through the school that I was involved with. And uh, so, but about this time also, uh, I was actually, you know, God began to lay in my heart the entrepreneurial starting of a ministry, all right? A ministry. But also, before I actually started the ministry, we of Hope Global Ministry, I briefly segued, all right, briefly segued into some mega church, some mega church, and there I was you know, are uh, involved with helping the volunteers, all right? It's a mega choice. So they had a lot of volunteers. So I was helped with helping, you know, uh, with the, the, the volunteers and the mobilization of the volunteers and all of that stuff. So I was involved in that. I was also involved in the children's ministry. <laughs> Privilege involved with that for some time, all right? And ultimately... Uh, I ended up studying, uh, by the grace of God, the Way of Hope Global Ministries, all right? Way of Hope Global Ministries, we are uh, pretty much, I'm typically doing, again, the same things that I was doing when I was about 18 years old, when I was involved in the new church plants in uh, my country of origin. So in Way of Hope Global Ministries, I'm still there, all right, as the lead communicator, communicating for life change, Casting vision, you know, providing the shepherding role that you would provide as a spiritual leader, providing oversight, all right, problem solving, and, uh, you know, a lot of the things that go on, all right, the, the 1,001 things that go on with our young uh, uh, pioneered ministry, you know, so all of those things are uh, motivating the people and solving problems and so on. So I'm still... Uh, involved with that so pretty much that is uh who i am who i am but also in addition to that i have interest okay so one of my big interests is actually communicating all right so i'm really interested in communicating but also communicating through media whether it is by writing print media whether it is by social media all right you know every creative way i could have to communicate all right i want to make use of it so so i'm really interested in media mass media all right so if you want to have some good conversation with me bring up issues like mass media all right <laughs> and we're going to have some good conversations but that's one of my interests my other interest is leadership development all right so i believe everybody's created with latent abilities all right and uh, God wants us to become everything we, we are created to be. So I'm interested in things like, you know, trainings and developing people to become everything that we are created to be, converting those latent skills, abilities, and giftings and strength, all right, into the fullest potentials. So that's also one of my interests, leadership development i'm also interested in writing all right or oh, i should be writing more i'm actually writing it's just that i'm not publishing a lot of the writings that i'm doing when i was in school i wrote a lot but a lot of those writings or of course we are not published because they are a little bit heavy and they have to be tweaked and transformed into uh sizable bite size you know especially for like a general public a general audience all right because some of those writings we are heavy so so I've been writing a lot over the years, but I hope to be, especially in the coming year, you know, 2020 and beyond. Or of course, I'm still writing or writing on or working on a book. So I have that going on. But writing, I'm really big on writing. So sometimes if you want to have a conversation, you know, about things like writing and editing and uh, and publishing and things like that. All right. We can have dialogue about that. Now, you know, some of the things in which. You can get me involved. Oh, I'm also in, uh, uh, very passionate about uh, 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 educational development. All right. So I'm very, very passionate about that. Well, probably it is also because of my background. I'm trained as an educator. All right. But yeah, so, you know, minus the spiritual things. All right. Minus the spiritual things. Well, uh, you know, I also believe in Christian education, but also I'm really passionate about secular education. All right. So. Secular in inverted, inverted commas, all right? So I'm interested in 
secular education speaking about educational development all right so uh, <laughs> it's a huge part of my training all right so that's why maybe i'm interested in that but i'm really interested in that uh i have a non-profit organization all right and one of the primary things that is actually done through you know that non-profit arm is education all right so like really doing things about education or uh, you know uh, um, uh, um tutorings and uh, scholarship and those kind of things all right it's at a young stage but i'll continue to like you know be talking about things like these and how we can partner and do all of those kind of things together but i'm also interested yes in educational you know promoting education in general all right so we spoke about leadership development all right influencing all right i'm also passionate about problem solving all right sometimes just hanging with people talking with people having this kind of conversations having dialogues and maybe know what are the needs and what are the problems and how we together by the guidance of the spirit of god how we can connect the pieces of the puzzle together all right so you know it's one of my my great i mean it's my primary gift my primary gift is being strategic all right problem solving so i'm interested in that okay so we'll be talking about things like that from time to time all right and then let me wrap this up by what is my purpose why do i exist why do i think i'm on this planet my primary purpose is to bring hope and that is what i'm going to be doing also on this channel all right so like when i communicate like what are, what is my communication really going to be revolving around so bringing hope transformation and healing to the world through the communication of the word okay so hope transformation healing so if you were to uh, really reduce my life and squeeze it all right into some three three things it will be hope change and healing all right so for my youtube channel is gonna be those are the three major things all right those are the three things i'll be communicating predominantly all right those are the three major subjects and there can be a lot of uh, 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 uh thematic issues underneath all right i mean hundreds and thousands and millions of thematic issues under hope all right but that's really what i'm uh hoping and trusting god for that my channel will be a place of inspiration unlimited that when people come with their stresses of life people come with their challenges of life people come with traumas of life people come with hopelessness people come and they are depressed that through this channel they would find inspiration, all right? They would find joy. They would find happiness, all right? So that at the end of the day, as we continue to hang out, as we continue to dialogue, as we continue to have conversations, all right? In the end, there shall be inspiration. In the end, there shall be life change. There shall be life transformation. We shall be transformed into transformational servant leaders, all right? So there is that change slash transformation side of things all right and that is not enough but ultimately there will be healing ultimately we'll become holistic people ultimately we may have the life balance that we need all right so as you hang with me as we continue to dialogue and have these conversations all right we shall you know become holistic men and women all right uh having healings physical healing spiritual healing emotional healing mental healing all right so i'm also big on mental health okay so we'll be talking about all of those things it's all part of the the healing dynamics okay that uh, i'm talking about so but in the end right there shall be hope in the end there shall be healing and in the end you know there would be change because change is the only thing that is constant Change is the only thing that is constant, all right? But if you were to reduce everything to one thing, it's going to be hope. It's going to be inspiration unlimited, all right? So, this is the journey. This is what we're going to be doing. Uh, this video is actually way overdue, but I'm glad, you know, today I just, like, driving around and I said, okay, you know what? I'm going to take a stop and I'm going to get my intro video done, all right? So, please, please go ahead and subscribe to my youtube channel you know the notification button click on that thing so that whenever uh, i publish uh, i produce a content all right you will be notified or whenever i'm doing youtube live you know you will come join me 
so that we can have these consultations, we can have these dialogues, all right? You know, that's, that's uh, you know, part of when I also spoke about my problem-solving thing, you know, in my spare time, in my extra time, sometimes I like to consult with ministry leaders, church leaders, all right? <laughs> consult with them and how to grow ministries, develop ministries and uh, be strategic about it and to solve the problems, all right? And to do some of the structural work that needs to be done in order to have a solid foundation on which they would build their ministry superstructures, all right? So... I'm also interested in promoting prayer, challenging people to prayer, challenging people to prayer. All right. So these are all things we would be talking about. So thank you for giving me audience. Go ahead again one more time, please, and subscribe to my channel. All right. Click on the notification button. And uh, this is your boy, City Soa, bringing hope, transformation, and uh, healing to the world through the communication of the world. Blessings and love you.